I love um, in our English language learners. They are like little sponges and they just, um, I can learn so much even from them. And I love teaching them and seeing their growth. It's just a really rapid growth. I love coming into the classroom because in kindergarten, it's a close knit community of teachers and they're all amazing teachers. And so I love to come in and learn from them. And then now being able to come in for a longer period of time in our co-teaching model, they can learn from me and I can learn from them and it just makes us better teachers. When you have this like language-based multilingual approach, they learn about other students' cultures. They see that, um, you know, even though this student maybe looks different from me, we have a lot of the same similarities. And I think like that will set them up later in life to every situation that they're in, that they can be comfortable in and they can adapt to it because they're used to students that are just learning the language, students that maybe are shy, students that are gifted, and they can learn to work with anyone. It is nice with the co-teaching model for certain parts of the day. So if I'm doing a reading lesson and it doesn't really fit for an English language learner, she can pull aside and do a different lesson for that. Or if she's teaching the lesson for the day and I have some higher readers, I can pull aside and work with those students at a different. So whether or not it was an ELL co-teaching model, it's just nice to have a co-teacher to help differentiate instruction. But I think they see it as, as equals. You know, we're two teachers that are helping them. They feel comfortable going to both of us. They know that we're here to help them and it, it just works. We are a big school, but everybody I think feels comfortable coming. We embrace whoever comes to us. I think that the kids don't feel the bigness that we sometimes feel. They, you know, we have animals for our classrooms and this is their penguin spot and they know the couple classes around them or the couple classes they go to recess with. And they just feel that community and love from everybody around them and they don't realize quite how big it is. We're very inclusive and I know that all the ESL teachers and classroom teachers really communicate with the families. So we use Talking Points app, we translate things, or even with our new intake form and Sean, our intake person, I added the question, do you know anyone? in the district and so then we can um, when they come in we can make connections with them oh we saw that your cousin is in this class but i think it's important to make connections with the families and so i found that to be the most powerful in this position i was on maternity leave for eight weeks this year <laughs> and so i came back and i was like oh wow this per this student is talking and um sometimes you'll have students that maybe spend the half the year not talking and maybe they'll just talk in like a small group. And so to see that growth, then by the end of the year, they're talking to their friends, they're letting their needs know, they're reading and writing. It's amazing the growth that you see in them. And then in first grade, when I see them in the hall and they come over and say, Mrs. McClinton, and maybe last year, they were just using two, three word phrases, and now they're speaking in sentences. The biggest thing is the amount of growth the children can make being immersed with children that speak English, with children that don't speak English. They're only here three hours a day and have to kindergarten. garden. And when they come in not knowing anything and when they leave talking in full sentences and to their friend with all this, they can read, they can do everything. It's just phenomenal. 